King the limitation. Bible says when it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, this is a deserted place and the hour is already late. Send the multitudes away that they may go into the villages and buy themselves food. But Jesus said to them, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. They said to him, we have here only five loaves and two fish. He said, bring them here to me. Then he commanded the multitudes to sit down on the grass. And he took the five loaves and the two fish. Looking up to heaven, he blessed and he broke. And that's my key uh, focus today. When Jesus took the two fish and he took the bread, Bible says he broke and they gave the loaves to the disciples and the disciples gave to the multitude. Give me the New Living Translation verse number 19. He broke. Some other translation says, then breaking the loaves into pieces, he gave the bread to the disciples who distributed it to the people. The message translation, the message translation of the same, Bible says, uh, then he had the people sit on the grass. He took the five loaves and two fish, lifted his face to heaven in prayer, blessed and he broke. And he gave the bread to the disciples. The disciples gave them the food to the congregation. Verse number 20. They all ate their fill. Then they gathered of baskets of leftovers. Heavenly Father, we pray for the ministry of your word. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the hour, this is a moment for us to experience a breaking from every limitation. Lord Jesus, we pray you penetrate through every circumstance and you elevate our lives to another level. In Jesus name we pray. The word limitation is a restriction which prevents or controls or even manipulates the desired results. When you are limited, you are restricted. When you are limited, you are incapacitated. When you are limited, you are prevented. The Webster Dictionary says that to limit is to restrict something or someone which is permissible or possible. You are permitted to pass. But when you are limited, it means there is a regulation. There is a barrier. And this moment, I want you to know, child of God, there are barriers that hinder people into accessing their next level, into accessing their growth, their increase. You need to be careful because some of us, we accept status quo and we think it is a desire of God. It is a will of God. For us to be the way we are. But God has sent me with the word. To tell you it is time to break. Every limitation. I say it is time to break. Every restriction. It is time to break. Any barrier. That has been hindering you. Lift your right hand with me. Say father. Say father. In the name of Jesus. Every limitation around my life around my family let it be broken in Jesus name we have got limited opportunities when you are limited you experience opposition there is no resources there is no revenue there is no connection 
there is no promotion there is no access because you are limited ladies and gentlemen bible says in genesis 27 verse number 37 the story of one man called esau and the bible says isaac said he answered and said to esau indeed i have made your brother your master and all his brethren i have given to him as servants with the grain and wine i have sustained him what shall i do now for you my son Esau went to the father and he's crying because his life was limited he was incapacitated he did not have access over certain things there are things he wanted he could not access them because the father had blessed someone else look at the next verse Esau said to his father let's read together one two three have you only one blessing my father bless me i want to break through in life i want to be elevated in life i want to progress in life i've been checking around my life daddy and i see something is not all right i need your blessing father and the bible says the father had given away all the blessing someone has given away your blessing but i came to say there is a portion for you if you shall break through i say if you shall break up every limitation you shall access where they said you cannot go you shall go where they said you cannot reach you shall reach what they say that you cannot achieve you shall achieve i prophesy with my eyes open it is the hour of breaking every limitation i say it is the hour of breaking every limitation financial limitation spiritual limitation i say relationship limitation say father help me to break every limitation breaking limitations in life is not purely a divine assignment i will say that again write it down breaking limitations in life is not absolutely a divine assignment what do i mean it is not just god doing the work some people sit back and they say god break it for me let me go let me access that which i could not access god do it you will do it but let me tell you the truth breaking limitation in life has got a bigger percentage on your personal responsibility Esau, his father answered and said to him behold your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above you are, by your sword let's read together by your sword you shall live and you shall serve your brother and it shall come to pass when you become restless that you shall break his yoke from your neck somebody say enough is enough shout enough is enough sickness and disease enough is enough poverty and lack enough is enough rejection and struggle say with me father here i am to break every limitation over my life hey. by your sword fire for fire tell your neighbor your next miracle is in your fighting stop saying oh somebody is taking away my husband what are you doing yourself oh somebody is taking away my business what are you doing yourself oh my mother my father never took me to school what are you doing yourself my 
boss does not like me what are you doing yourself by your soul you shall leave and you shall serve your brother sometimes life can push you just to serve others and it is not bad but the bible says it shall come to pass it is a guarantee i prophesy with my eyes open i say i prophesy with my eyes open it shall come to pass angalia mtu mwambie itatimia it shall come to pass when you become restless tell your neighbor choka ambia mtu choka na umaskini choka na magonjwa choka choka kukataliwa choka choka kukaa bila pesa hai 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 nasema choka choka kungangana the day batmayas became restless bible says he used to sit at the gate of jericho for years he was there and everybody was celebrating batmayas as long as he sat there are you aware people celebrate when you are in problems the day you break through and you come out they get agitated may your enemies be disappointed i say may your enemies be disappointed some will say father i am breaking every limitation jesus name there are demons in your mother's house there are spirits in your father's house as long as you are suffering like your brothers as long as, as as long as your husband is behaving like his angles they are happy but when you take that man to say this one is shall not be foolish like his angles they get agitated and they decide to fight against you lift your hands say father say with me father i am breaking every limitation from the village i am breaking every limitation from my ancestors i am breaking every limitation from hell father enough is there is a man who was carried all the days in acts chapter 3 he was carried all the days to the gate acts chapter 3 verse 1 and the bible says Peter and John went together to the temple to pray. But look at verse number two. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried. For how long are you going to be carried by your relatives? For how long are you be going to be carried by your husband? For how long are you going to be carried by your wife? Ambia mtu choka kubebwa. Sema mimi nakataa kubebwa na magonjwa. Mpaka daktari akiangalia recent cause ni jina yako it shall not be so. I say it shall not be so. Watu wa fulisa watakusahau. Ah watu wa Asra Fant watakusa. Inua mkono sema father enough is enough. Nimechoka kubebwa na madeni. Father, nimechoka kujieleza kwa watu wanaonidai. I am breaking every financial limitation in Jesus name. Chapia Yesu makofi. A certain man was carried they laid when huh? daily daily wana beba ye daily let me tell you the truth as long as watu wanaweza kukubeba na uko hapo ulalamiki you are at their masses they carried him daily at the gate they laid him there at the temple which is called what 
What was the name of the gate? Beautiful. Unaekwa kwa lango inaitwa nzuri lakini wewe hauko mzuri. Hauko poa. Unangangana. Ni kama watu wengine hapa. Wanaitwa prosper na hujalipa rent. Eh? Victoria lakini kungangana ile uko nayo hata uli give up. Victor lakini we ni mtu siku zote unafungwa tu. Hmm? Jina nzuri purity lakini vile unaishi. Jina nzuri. Unabebwa unawekwa kwa lango. Nawekwa hapo. Daily it was laid at the gate called beautiful then the funny thing the people who laid him there they got into the temple to pray but him stay there that is the nature of humanity they celebrate your misery as long as you are borrowing the money i disconnect you from all the people you have been borrowing the money I, I disconnect you from all the landlords who have been pitting you from today get annoyed so that you can buy your own plot from today may the landlord put a lock so that you can get agitated father enough is enough no more limitation God into the temple. Hata huyu mtu siangaingia kanisa, aombe aambie Mungu niponye kutoka kwa hii ugonjwa. Lakini yeye anakaa kwa mlango. Watu wanaumwa wanaingia. Wanatokea prof, wanapokea prophetic word. Wanapokea breakthrough. Wanaekelewa mikono. Yeye anaendelea kukaa hapo. Saidia, saidia. Saidia, saidia. Inua mikono yako sema baba. Hakuna kusaidiwa tena. Naomba katika jina la Yesu kila mipaka iliyowekwa juu ya kichwa changu juu ya jamii yangu juu ya mikono yangu ivunjike mipaka ya kipepo ivunjike katika harama seteketeba jesus let me tell you i am not against people helping you but some people can help you until you become a lame until your mind becomes lame you don't need an elkana only in your life you need a penina because elkana will give you what you want oh take offering 10 times am i not better to you than 10 sons but penina penina will tell you mwanamke ina gani wewe what kind of a woman are you? Eh? Na na kuangalia unajua ana wake anajua kuangalia kutoka juu mpaka chini. Let me tell you the truth. Some demons come not to chase you away but to push you closer to your God because they will agitate you. Inua mkono sema baba, nimekasirika kukaa bila baraka, kukaa bila pesa, nimekasirika kuisi na magonjwa baba nimekasirika enough is ushaona mtoto amepata max 03% na unamwambia mtoto enda unletee karatasi na anaenda akicheck <laughs> na anakuja mbia mam mam this is what i got god knows why Ambia jirani yako wacha kutosheka na michezo. I challenge all the students get annoyed. Get annoyed. Na si kukasirika tu. Ni kukasirika and begin to work harder. If 
you have watched the fever world cup you noticed people are not being given victory because they want it they have to work for it tell your neighbor you have to work for your next level look at your neighbor tell them you have to work for your promotion you have to work for your lifting are you listening to me you have to work for your blessing we must get rid of this demon spirit people expecting to be done for things when your heart is right I quote Eliud Kipchoge no human is limited tell your neighbor nobody is limited Sikuhana alichoka alipata mtoto wama akupata alipata mtoto wama akupata alienda kanisani na nani alikuwa na elkana alikuwa na penina si alienda peke yake alikaa kwa kona alikuwa anatafuta nini Mungu ambia jirani yako tafuta Mungu siku utachoka Mungu ataonekana akaingia heli akapata mama anachapa tanks akasikiliza mama vile anaomba riba setaka heli ah! akasema na wewe na hii ulevi yako joy yenu siku zote ulevi 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 ana akaweka maombi break rivers rivers pasta pasta i'm not drunk pasta i am just in pain i am in pain of my heart man of god heli akamwangalia we read this in uh, first samuel chapter 2 go shada bushada Hente kete bosha. Ana prayed and said, "My heart rejoices." Yakoro boshe taba. Ebu Rudi chapter one. Rudi chapter one. Passes number. Ebu enda mstari. Etu enda mstari wana. Uyu mama ali itwa Ana. Then Elkan, her husband, said to her, "Ana, where unaria nini? Unaria gas kuzot." hata kukula umekataa Penina anaongoza anaongeza kilo wewe unakonda angalia why do you not hit why is your heart grieved hata una furaha am i not better to you than 10 sons au watoto unataka ni wanini si utosheke na mimi ana akaamka Ambia jirani yako amka Angalia mtu mwambie siku utaamka utapata solution Complaining is very easy Murmuring is very easy Hakuna mtu atakufa mara mbili Kufa ni mara ngapi Tena wewe uko na Mungu Kwani Daudi alikuwa na nini Alikuwa na Mungu na silaha tu ambayo ilikaa kama si silaha kali. Lakini hiyo silaha that is what God used. Don't you be intimidated. Isa was told the day you will get tired. Uliza jirani yako wewe utachoka lini? Utachoka lini? Kushinda ukibembeleza mwanaume. Oh sio nitaftie capital oh sio nisaidie eko oh si uachane na huyo mwanamke ukuje kwangu the day he will discover you are moved on umenunua shamba na unaenda mbele atakuja ah. can i preach can i preach tell your neighbor move on the day you will get tired is how you break the yoke of your shoulder. The devil can eat you for lunch as long as you are okay with his gimmicks. People can treat you like a garbage as long as you are okay. Tell your neighbor you are not a garbage. Kuza mutu muambia you are not a garbage. You are not. Don't 
allow anyone to treat you like a second class person. You're not. You are a child of God. The fact that they do not have faith in you, it doesn't mean you are useless. The fact that they do not need you, it doesn't mean somebody else somewhere does not need you. Tell your neighbor you are a jewel. Tell somebody you are precious. Rise up. Tell somebody rise up and break the limitation. When you will become restless. Give me the New Living Translation, that verse. When you shall become restless. Anna Alichoka. Some things you need to enforce. Some promotions you need to enforce. Some miracles you need to enforce. Some elevation you need to enforce. I say some breakthrough you need to enforce. I say no more limitation. No human is limited. Inu wa mkono sema baba. Katika jina la yesu. Nina kata. Kofinyiliwa. The problem of some of us. Is not God. It is us. We are waiting while God is waiting on us. The day you will become, eh? let's read this. I, I love this. You will live by your sword and you will serve your, but when you decide to do what? To break free, you will shake his yoke from your. Every yoke in my neck, in my family, every yoke, financial yokes, demonic yokes, you must be broken of my life. Ame aidiwa baraka, lakini anamboa yu baraka ndiyo ikuja. Kuna kitu lazima utavunja. Look at the message translation. The day you will break the yoke of being a tenant, the yoke of using border border, the yoke of staying single, you will live by your sword and we, and to what? And to what? Ambia Jiraniako come out of that. And to mouth. There are people who are business here and their work is to work to pay rent. There are people employed here but they live hand to mouth. A year comes, another one goes and they are there. I came to talk to people who are tired. Atuwezi kuwa tunafanya declarations za mwaka. Year of progress. Na watu wanasonga. 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 Ngini wanapata makazi. Ngini wanaza biyashara. Ngini wananua mavi yeit. Ngini wanajenga maplot. Na weu kwa hapo tu. May God raise up intentional people in this house. I say may God raise up intentional brothers. Intentional sisters. Lift your right and say Father. No more limitation in my life. 